Downtown Grand Rapids is picturesque all day, every day, but from the right spot, at the right time of day, the image taken can take one's breath away. 13 On Your Side's Brent Ashcroft caught up with the Art Prize artist who took the largest high-resolution photo of the Grand Rapids skyline ever. Brent? 60 feet long by 12 feet high. You can't miss it if you're driving or walking past the main west entrance of Van Andel Arena. The local photographer who took it, his inspiration behind it, and how you can get one just like it in our Michigan life. Did you find your house? Right there. <laughs> Wait a minute. I got my drapes done because I wasn't home. You can see where you live? Yeah. <laughs> what about see yourself? I'm telling you, if you knew who these people were, you could pick them out. Like that dude wearing a hat. A guy comes up to me and he says, is this the 4th of July? And I said, yeah. And he said, 2018? And I said, yeah. <laughs> How did you know that? And he pointed to one of the balconies and says, this is me. We had a party on our roof. And sure enough, he was wearing a, like a Panama hat. When Dave Thompson took this photo. Made up of 79 separate images. He knew he'd captured a breathtaking shot of his hometown. Five minutes shooting it and 18 months photoshopping it. How can it be this big? Using a 700 millimeter lens. Without being. Because you get a parallax. Distorted. It's a five or six gigabyte file. Grainy. My criteria was it needed to be as close to 300 DPI as possible. English, Dave, English. So it's huge. Now you're speaking our language. I didn't know if it could, could be done or not. Guess the answer is it can be. I love the skyline. I like how it's changed over the years. Because there it is, massive. It's this constant stream of people. Eclipsing the city's most popular venue. I've got the best possible placement in the whole city. Offering a chance to remember where you were when. That guy's playing the piano, is he? And maybe, just maybe. Top two floors. Find yourself. And your eye goes to what it should go to, which are the, the buildings and the people. Now, Dave says his massive mural will be auctioned off once our prize wraps up October 3rd, but there is a way you can own one. Dave is currently taking orders for 72 inch by 18 inch versions of the image. If you're interested in placing an order for one, we have a link to do that within the web version of this story at 13 on your side.com.